okay and click auto match okay we calculate and then flash through separator calculate calculate all right still quite acceptable like this okay and yeah please note that this is the case please note that in this case the petroleum experts 2 was chosen because it produced the smooth smoothest overall profile with the data available okay if the composition of higher components was known then a different profile method such as withson withson may have been more appropriate and in, in and in fact with the withson method a similar final match can also be obtained it is also possible to deviate from the reported composition profile to obtain a better match however deviating too much may result in certain objectives such as tracking the evolution of the C7 plus. Components over time cannot be met, met as the model composition is not representative of real life. From the separator quick calculation, it can be seen that as expected, the calculated liquid density, this one, and the GOR, this, not, this one, have not match have not changed significantly and are thus still close to reported values in the lab report still quite close okay but how about the saturation pressure okay now it's it's better okay so from face envelope calculation it can be seen that splitting the pseudo has slightly increased the saturation pressure increased right get to just above the reported value of 2091 okay this is expected as we now have a number of heavy components with high critical temperatures and low critical pressures that tend to stretch the phase envelope so you can expand the plot like this slightly higher or sorry slightly lower than the real data redraw okay so this is the critical pressure this is quite match between the laboratory data and the calculation okay close okay and then can exit can exit okay so as an additional quality check the degree of normalization applied to the split profile should be verified before accepting the pseudo split the reason for this is that in particular when using the Whitson method the calculated molecular weight and specific gravity of the constituent components may not add up to that of the original pseudo component so that the scaling is applied when they do not excessive normalization is not desirable as it can result in the natural molecular weight and specific gravity trends from the correlations not being maintained okay to check the degree of normalization applied the normalization first needs to be disabled okay in the pseudo splitting screen this one press split preferences select the no values adjusted mode for molecular weight and specific gravity normalization okay let's check okay patrol experts too okay so if you go back to the help here Actually, we should be able to reach this tab, but I think because of resolution issue, 
the current window setting cannot reach to that part. Yeah, unfortunately though, I should change the resolution, but I'm not sure when recording, I can switch the, the, the switch the resolution without sacrificing the quality of the the video so instead let's check the tutorial so we will select no values adjusted mode for molecular weight and specific gravity normalization 203 okay we can do that i think split preference and then here no values adjusted no values adjusted okay so here no values adjusted no values adjusted okay and then press exit and save to return to the previous screen at the bottom of the screen it can now be seen that the entered pseudo components and the calculated totals are no longer in perfect agreement. Since in this case, the difference themselves are small, the degree of normalization is acceptable. Here, not match between the last pseudo data and calculated totals, but difference very small, the degree of normalization is acceptable. So go back, no values adjusted, no value adjusted exit and save okay i cannot go to the bottom due to resolution issue so yeah go back to the tutorial to return to the pseudo props screen please press exit and save and now we will go to binary interaction coefficients 